five dollars 1.7 miles we'll go ahead and take that Let's screenshot this first and we'll just go right around the corner and to get this order so this will probably be the last dash in a car that I do for a while. If you haven't seen the previous short that I posted about my scooter, I'll link it up here somewhere. Uh, the, the motor died in my electric scooter. It's April now, so once that gets repaired, um, I can start going out on the scooter every once in a while and doing scooter deliveries. And I'll be doing my one dash a day on those. Uh, I'm only doing, someone had a comment about, wow, this you only showed one delivery in the first one. And I said, yep. Besides this channel, I have three other active YouTube channels that I'm maintaining. Plus I have a full-time job. So, yeah, um, this is the one that kind of gets honestly put on the back burner until I figure out what I want to do with it. I think I'm kind of done with the whole gig work idea of this channel. So we'll see where we go from there and uh, make a decision here pretty soon. So we're going to Kebab Zone. All right, so they were bagging up the order when I got there. That's always a good thing. I got a free sample because <laughs> I commented about how nice the food smelled in there. That's even a better thing. And uh, we're going to go drop this off. This kebab place is actually near where I work, so I uh, guess I found a new place to go for lunch. <laughs> Uh, that might be a little problematic, especially for my waistline, which is ever-expanding. So I was talking about um, my one dash a day and how this will probably be the last one in the cart. There's a couple reasons for that. If you've followed my channel for a while, you know that I don't really do food delivery. And the reason being is because in New York, it is extremely expensive to get insured to do food delivery. And because I do this part time, it's not really worth it to me to pay for that insurance and uh, not. I mean, I'd be breaking even, basically, if I did enough food delivery to cover the cost of the insurance. So, every once in a while, I will do a delivery, if it's slow, just to generate some income, or for content. Once the weather warms up, I do deliveries on my electric scooter. And I live in a town that has a pretty good... Uh, tourist season so we get a lot of people coming into town they're in hotels and Airbnbs and things like that and so it doesn't it's pretty easy for me to do the deliveries I don't have long distances that I have to go now typically the deliveries in this area are long distance deliveries um, but it is possible to get short deliveries obviously my acceptance rate takes a hit I think at one point I, I got as low as five percent because I just can't take anything over um, you know outside of a pretty much like a five mile radius because to go two and a half miles in one direction and then come back two and a half miles that's a five mile round trip on an electric scooter and if you've never ridden an electric scooter, you know that you know the range isn't infinite. You can't just stop at a gas station and top it off. So you have to be pretty smart with the deliveries that you pick.
Hopefully I can get through this light before any traffic comes. And I did. All right. That's great. Four. Okay, that's it. All right. Let's go check it out. Easy drop off, uh, 250 base pay and a 250 tip. So, like I said previously, you know this is going to be this is an experiment. I don't really like doing delivery in my car because of the insurance factor, but I think this took us about a total of 11 or 12 minutes to make five dollars and while that's not the it's not a great rate right but if you can do five dollars every 15 minutes you know it's 20 bucks an hour and it's about 25 dollars an hour if you're doing it every 12 minutes so not a bad rate I don't think considering that I just jumped on and just took the first order that popped up and going forward we're gonna get like I said to the scooter delivery stuff as soon as I uh, get that motor replaced look for a video on replacing the motor on the e-move cruiser and look then start looking for videos of the rides that I do doing delivery and also just general ride along. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.